Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, what, what about, like, like Crowns 12? Like, what is different? We got a lot of bangers on this thing, man. Mm -hmm. How many songs did you put on it? Um, it's gonna be a deluxe coming soon, but it's really a movie. I just want people to just kind of go through the process, go through the journey with me on there, pop it in, hit it, hit play, and just watch what it do. Fresh out of them steel doors, my max stuck to that curb. Dreams written in concrete, and I held true to them words. At the end of the day, I just had to reconnect with my core, find that, find that voice that sound that they really always have enjoyed. The easiest thing for me. And just kind of like fire off in that kind of a mind. I can't wait to everybody here. We're gonna have a big party down. Uh, uh, where we gonna have a party? At? I don't know. We, we probably gonna, we definitely having one August third in Longview, but um, we we'll probably do a couple of more parties. And it's just up, man. It's up. All this got big stuff coming. All this time, this the rest of this summer, and I just done click back into how many my visuals audience. I'm getting. How many visuals I'm getting? Uh, we. That's another thing. I started. We now the way we do visuals, we make them as we go in the moment. And we don't plan for them. Like, all that planning shit, no more planning. It's how, however, whatever feels, video, like, it feel like a mm -hmm. video, we do it as a video. But all of that trying to do performance shots and all that, we just letting it speak for itself, letting it move, and, and um, look real forward to everybody getting it because it is a, a murderous album. Definitely my best album. I appreciate everybody that helped me on it, too. The last one is always the best one. That's what all y'all always I say. Think, yeah, that is what they always mm -hmm. say, but... I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the people be the judge. But what makes this one to you different it's than just all your others? Everything okay. In this five years that I've been out, I got out believing that that my rap career was gonna be a certain kind of way, but I had no knowledge of the game. Then I was releasing at such a volume and a frequency, I brought people over into my world by based on my volume and what it was I was saying mm -hmm. and my sound and my shit. Then I moved to Houston and I and I learned the uh, the the game, the real industry game. Uh, shout out to Key, of course. He brought me through this and held my hand as I as I learned. Well, in the process of me learning like that, um, I I I was not being as productive. Had, like I you're had studying, a, like I had established right. for that on, for that reason alone. Because if I was, he's going to bag me. In however, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Right. And so it wasn't that. It's just that I just was learning so much and listening so much, and now I just feel like I got it. I feel like man, I'm not finna bullshit no more. I'm not finna overthink certain aspects of this shit, and I'm gonna get back to what make me me. You mm -hmm. know, and just the the way that I attack just the whole the game of what this shit is and and the whole. Man, to be honest, man, this sh this shit that I do, man, it can't be real. You ain't got nowhere else you can get this shit from, to be honest. Let me tell you what it goes. East Texas, this motherfucker that's certified next step. Yeah, trap stars. That's why I've always been in my own lane with this shit. I never stood and tried to dig ride no nobody situation in order to make me who I was. And by me being who I am for real and not like no rap cap and shit, this shit has been a lot easier for me than what it would be. And I only know about it being hard for those that struggling being fake. How me many? seeing people fake is where I learned that this shit is a struggle for those that is not authentic. For me, it has rolled out easy, uh, uh, comparatively speaking, because of me being the actual thing what I am. That's how many it. of, um, how many songs on this album you're actually singing on? Singing? I sung on some of them. I sung on some. I got me a. I got an R and B duo with a, a really? with a, yes yeah with Kiara Elise. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm singing on there. Yeah, we having fun like we always do on these crowns. You know, we we we. we you want to drop me a little bit? We might we might uh do something coming up soon. <laughs> coming up soon. But we definitely, we definitely brought the uh, party to the house. Sure. I want I want to talk about them Texas boys, man. Texas boys, that yeah. song, man, I love that song. I ain't gonna lie, man. Anytime me and Key get Bro. together, bro. Say these niggas playing is plenty grand in that go yard. Ocean blue, bitch, I'm float like the coast guard. That song goes yeah. so hard, it's bro. You, you 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 calling out that hood on it too? I yeah. love it, that bro. Yeah. Like yeah. like four three hundred L, I'm a block. I don't realize how uh, like like that that fit. I love that because to have your talent and then to be dealing with this on this level, yeah, that's I want to hear it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we want it all. We here for the whole game. We we not just here for we we here for the hood. We here for the city. We here for the state. 
but we also here for the globe. We want the whole thing. That's and that was another thing. My brain was, I wasn't being as where I should be. I just was. I want the whole shit. I don't want the damn, you know, just no pieces and parts of the game. I what, want. The what, what about around the corner? Around the corner. That's the visual that's coming up. Um, uh, Lee on the track. Also, shout out, man. My producers, Lee. Aaron Devon, of course, lead, leading the charge. Aaron Devon, Phantom Pharaoh, Austin Nichols, you know what I'm saying? What we done perfected, what we done got perfected on this, that's what I'm looking forward to, just mashing the gas on and just, I'm ready to show this, this, this movement in the proper way because I'm set up to do it. I have everything that I need in this shit. There is nothing else that I need in the game to do the shit that I want to do. I don't need nothing. I don't need a, not a, now another favor. I don't need nothing. God and what we have is all I is all I need. It's all I ever had. But it's that's what got me here, and that's what it is that I'm looking forward to putting down to show my. It's a lot of it's a lot of people out here crying about shit, not knowing that what you got is enough. That's the reason why you ain't getting no more. You got the shit right there to do it. I got all of that, you know. And a lot of the stuff that you think you need, you don't need it. I I had to learn that shit myself. You 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 got one on there called selling crack. Three hundred them pussy niggas was saved until I popped out the cage. Yeah, see them, we don't engage. They shit is all a charade. And you and propane, propane got a deep uh, history in Longview. I'm selling crack, bitch. Born in the Reagan era, crack fumes is coming out my baby hairs like how the. Yeah. You know what I'm saying Down in the Longview area How did you and him Link up to even Do that you This know? time I, I really did Just ask him You know what I mean Yeah Yeah I'm not gonna lie And say he ain't played No rap games before <laughs> Okay <laughs> Yeah so, He so, played some hoes before But wait, but this time You just asked me Came on with it Yeah <laughs> I don't like the way How you look like that Yeah so how do you? I mean, you, that was that, that's that's a nice connection though. Y'all both know y'all know a lot of the same areas for sure. Uh, yeah, but ultimately, man, as you as you climb in this game, man, it just things get easier as you as you do more. Right, I know? see that too on my um, end. But he really came on there, killed it like always. I, I already knew he was gonna sound good on there, and I knew we'd sound good together. So it was just a matter of time before it happened, and if I, and it happened, so that was great. Mm -hmm. I can't get rid of this best. Yeah. But selling crack, selling crack was a uh, how did y'all? It is what it is. Well, basically, first of all, on the album, I recorded the album in one day. I wrote it all. Whoa! I mean, that's the way I do it anyway. One day, one day. That's the way I've been doing it. It just was one of them. I just had stopped doing it like that. But that's my process. I was learning different processes, and I just needed to really like. I write that music. I ride around thinking about it after I write it in my phone or whatever. And then I just I, I put it together as an album, but then I go in there and just run through it as it would be as an album. And he came in when it was his turn to come in, and uh, he laid his verse. Key came in, laid his, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just make it real factory-oriented. And it's that way the sound is consistent, everything is consistent. You, you got your good engineer making, getting it, getting it good, then you hand it over. This album was uh, completely mixed by Lee. Um, you know, and then all the hands on deck, all of the different people that that it take to to take it from audio to visual to merch and to everything that how it takes to do this, and then over to the turning it in and the process of getting it heard everywhere and all that shit. And then of course y'all play a big role in it, yeah. coming and making sure y'all know about it, making sure that I'm out at the at the radio stations and I'm doing all of my due diligence, all the way culminating up to that date when it come out, and boom. Um, and then not just resting on after it's out and you partying on it, you know, being ready for that next round. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.